Here is question number 16. It's practice test on factoring polynomials. And we are really working on difference of cubes now. So we have a couple of examples on difference of cubes. And let's see how to solve such problems. First and foremost, do you remember the formula for difference of cubes? Let's write that down first. So difference of cubes is, if I have, this one is minus. So let me give you minus here. If it is a cube minus b cube, then that is equals to a minus b times a square plus a b plus b square. Correct? Remember, if it is minus here, then minus here and plus there. Correct. Now, given problem is x to the power of 6 plus 4 to the power of 3 y to the power of 6. Now, we should write this in a cube, b cube form. You will see that 4 can be written as 2 square. If I write 4 as 2 square, then it becomes 2 to the power of 6, right? So let me do this calculation on the side. So I can write this as a6, 4 as 2 square, and then cube of this, right? And y6. Is that okay? Now this I can write like x to the power of 6 plus 2 to the power of 6 and y to the power of 6. I am trying to show you how to write in steps and get a cube minus b cube form. So I will simplify further and I can say well this could be square cube. Is that okay? So 3 times 2 will give me 6. I wrote plus all the way. It was minus here. Anyway, now we'll go with plus. Now, a cube plus. Here I can say 2 square and then cube. Y square and cube. Square and then cube. And we can say this is y square and then this cube. Is that okay? So now it becomes a cube plus b cube. Fine. Since I did with plus, let me change the question. Let me make it this, right? I will do both. Okay. <clears throat> now, now, for plus, you remember the formula? Let me change this formula too. If I have plus here, then basically the formula is plus here and minus here. So that is with plus. Correct? Now, so we got a cube plus b cube, so we'll use a cube plus b cube formula here. What is a for us? a is x square. And what is b for us? b is 2 square y square. Do you see that? So by writing 4 as 2 square, we make made it like a perfect sum of cubes, right? So, so this could be written as, so now let me write So let me write this. So I can now write x to the power of 6 plus 4 cube y to the power of 6 as equal to a minus b, a plus b. So a is x square. Let me write this is, let me write this x square cube plus 2 square y square cube. This is equal to this, right? So I'm using this as a. Now, what is my a? So as you see, a is x square. a equals to, in this formula, x square. And b is equal to 2 square y square. I'm doing all this on the side just to explain you how I'm going to fill up the values here and factor the given binomial, right? Which is sum of cubes. So, a plus b. a is x square. So, I'll write here x square plus 2 square y square. That is my a plus b, right? 
Remember, I'm doing the plus thing now. Times a square. So what is square of x square? x to the power of 4. So we'll write x to the power of 4. And minus. If we start with plus, then it is minus here, right? a times b. So a times b. This is not y, but this is b, right? So a times b. So we'll multiply these two. It's better to write numbers first. So I'll write 2 square x square y square. Perfect. And then b square. This is b, right? b square is 2 to the power of 4 and y to the power of 4. So it will expand, or rather it will factor to this and that is factoring of our sum of cubes. Correct? Now let me do my original question. Original question was x to the power of 6 minus 4 cube sorry yeah 4 cube that's right 4 cube y to the power of 6 right which I wrote as here x square cube minus 4 I wrote as 2 square so it became 6 so I'll write 2 square y square to the power of 3 is that okay that is how I wrote now let me factorize this now when it is minus as I said the formula will be a minus b what is a for us x square minus b is 2 square y square times a square. So square of x square is x to the power of 4. But here we'll get plus, right? So we get plus here and this times this. It is better to write numbers first. So we'll reorganize. 2 square x square y square. Plus this is always plus. Square of the last term which is 2 to the power of 4 y to the power of 4. That's what it is. But see, there is one difference here. We can again use a square minus b square formula. So it can be factored further. Why further? Since a square minus b square is actually equals to a plus b times a minus b. Do you see that? So if I have minus, like my original question, then it can be further factored. And so here we can have three factors of this binomial, right? So difference of cubes in such case. So this is a plus b. Now what is my a? a is x here and b is 2y. So I can write this as x plus 2y times x minus 2y. When I multiply them, I get x square minus 2 square y square, which is 4, right? And this term, which is x to the power of 4, it's a good time. We can actually write them, we can write now what 2 square is, right? 2 square is 4. We can write this as 4, x square, y square, plus, this is 4, 2 to the power of 4, will be 16. 4 times 2, 8, 8 times 2, 16, y to the power of 4, okay? Here also, we could write that as x square plus 4y square times x to the power of 4 minus 4 x square y square plus 16 y to the power of 4. Okay, sorry for the mess I did here, but I think I explained you a better concept. That is, we solved two problems at the same time, one with plus, the other with minus, right? So both things we did together. But there was one huge difference that a square minus b square can be factored as a plus b times a minus b, but a square plus b square cannot be factored. So we had three terms in this case, but two in the previous case. Okay, I hope you understand. We'll take some more cubic uh, differences and squares and then show you how to go about. Thank you.